on our first walk across America, right before we had to get onto the interstate in Arizona dot person gave me a hooded sweatshirt that was reflective and when I wore that sweatshirt I turned into a man named Greg and regretfully I got rid of that Arizona sweatshirt because we had too much in our cart but that's not the point of the story Greg picture here was a little bit crazy and kind of turned up a little bit Greg likes Florida's and Tacondes yeah so Greg was kind of an alter ego alter just a different person and so a little backstory my brother walked with us from Albuquerque to Amarillo, Texas, about 300 miles, and we were in a small town in Texas, like there's nothing there, a hotel, like a little motel. Dollar where, General. And then some store, like a, like two restaurants that closed before two, so we couldn't even eat anything there. We were in the hotel room. This was after Grace dropped pizza rolls and pizza all over the hotel lobby. Yeah, our microwave wasn't working, and so we had to go into the lobby, and it was run by a really nice Indian family, but he was uncomfortable with us, like, just cooking our food there, so he was just standing there watching us cook, like, five rounds of food, so we were in there for maybe 30 minutes. Complete silence. Was not saying anything, and on the very last thing, I pull it out. It was so hot, and it just drops all over the floor. It was horrible. Now, what were we drinking from Dollar General? Again. Yeah, so we started getting White Claws, and we thought, what a great idea. One pack was fine. We didn't need to get another, but Dollar General was the only thing open, and we kept going. We were getting more White Claws. We were having a blast. Second pack came in. We started freestyle rapping. Greg came out. Greg yeah. came to play. Greg started jumping on the bed. Yeah, I was jumping up and down on the bed like this, and I had you know my hoodie on and everything, and I'm rapping. And I, if you know me, I do not really rap, so this was already just a special treat. And out of nowhere, it was probably what time, like midnight? It was, it was about 10.30. Chris, her brother, and me were yelling, hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> then the door opens. It was the owner of the hotel. Just Pe opens it. Peeks inside. We all pause for a moment. I'm still standing up on the bed. And then he shuts the door and he leaves. And the best part was <laughs> we didn't even, we literally just kept going with the freestyle rap, kept going until the song was over. And then we were like, oh, that was interesting. Like, he just, he knew we were the only people staying at the hotel. Like, there was no reason for him to come into this door. It was so weird. The, the next day walking 20 miles was not pretty. No, and it was so funny. The next morning we had to return the key to the hotel. And I swear, he was, like, hiding, did not want to see us, was terrified of us, thought we were probably some sort of weird cult. But it was one of our fondest memories. Will old Greg ever come back to play? I don't know.